Scrapwood challenge, scrapwood challenge. It's crack, it's crack, it's firewood, but some of the wood is good. In this video, I'm going to make a chopping board. The design is an idea I've had for a while. There'll be a series of circles of contrasting wood and they'll be set into a square board. For the design to work, it relies on a jig to make the circles, which I'll show later in the video. This is the last in the series of the seven scrap wood challenge videos leading up to Christmas. And because the first six videos have taken some time, I've ended up with just today to make, film, edit, and upload the video all in one day. So wish me luck, it's going to be a tough day. I'm starting with a piece of camphor laurel to make the main square board and for contrast I'll use some leftover merbow and a piece of reclaimed cedar. The merbow isn't quite big enough so I'll glue two pieces together. While those boards are drying, I'll start preparing the cedar. Next I'll square up the main camphor laurel piece and finish that to the final dimensions. Now it's squared up I'll chamfer the underneath edges. Now I'm ready to start cutting the circles and first I need a hole drilled in the centre of each board and that's for a pin that I'll use with the jig that I mentioned earlier. It's just a circle cutting router jig but to make the pattern I'm attempting here the holes in the jig need to be exactly spaced apart to the diameter of the cutter I'll be using and that is six millimeters or quarter of an inch. Here's the setup that I used to do that. I used the cutter itself to position the jig before drilling the holes. I made the jig this morning before starting the project and if it isn't accurate the design just isn't going to work. I'll start by cutting a circle out of the main board just like any other circle cutting jig and I'll explain why I need the holes for the pin spaced to the size of the cutter when I come to cut the next circle. Now I need to cut a circle in the cedar to fit into that hole and that was a lot of work. It did a good job but I had to do it in so many passes and as you can see I've got a lot of cuts left to make all these rings. So what I'm going to do is reduce the thickness of all this material, it will be less cutting. There will be a void in the back and I'll fill that with one solid piece. Thank you. 
Now I'll cut the cedar circle to fit into the hole in the board. If I move the pin over one hole away from the cutter, it should cut the perfect size circle to fit as long as I made the jig accurate. Now I need to move the pin again so I can cut the center out of the circle and make it into a ring. The thickness of the rings vary throughout the design and I wanted to randomly alternate the different woods and the size of the rings. There's a few furry bits so I'll knock those off with some sandpaper. And that's not too bad at all. I did think about making an adjustable circle cutting jig, but I would have had to make test cuts for every single circle that I cut, so I reckon this jig is the go. Now it's just a case of making more rings. Before I make any more rings, I'll cut a circle to fill the void in the back of the board. I prepared this piece of camphor laurel off camera. I've jumped ahead a bit here and I've just got the last few rings to go. The workpiece was moving around a little with the double sided tape. I started using masking tape, I put a piece on the waste board and a piece on the back of the workpiece and glued those together with CA glue and that worked much better. The last piece is a disc and when I went to cut it, it was already the correct size from the previous ring that I made from camphor laurel. There's a couple of gaps but not too bad at all, especially as the whole project has been very rushed and the gaps will fill with glue anyway. I normally finish cutting boards with mineral oil, but I'm going to do this one with hard wax oil because that's food safe as well. I'll only be able to put one coat on in the video, but I will put another coat on later on.
I really like the design. I think I could have done a better job if it wasn't so rushed, but I'm still happy with it anyway. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully you enjoyed this little series that I put together. It's been a lot of work. I'm going to have a break now. We've got Christmas and we're going away. So thanks for watching. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And thanks for all your support. And I'll see you next year.